Today on our 2014 Volkswagen Passat, we're going to be test fitting the Yakima Fullback 2 bike rack. That's going to be part number Y02634. As you can see, we already have a bike installed, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features. Now starting from the outside and working our way in, we have this integrated cable lock system in which you pull it out, wrap it around the frame of your bike, and insert it on the little notch right there. And once you're done, you simply stick your key in there, unlock it, and then you're ready to unload your bikes. If you look at these cradles, they aren't they can't pivot back and forth or move back or move side to side. But they do have this nice rubber TPE padding. You see these little notches coming up from the padding. That kind of acts as a shock absorber for your bike frame during travel. Each cradle is going to come with its own zip strip to help secure the bike to the rack. And if we look, we see our bike has three different points of contact where it's secured to the bike rack. We have a zip strip on the front of the frame, on the back, and we have this anti-rattle cradle with a zip strip through it. Now what that does is that prevents our bike from shifting too much during travel, preventing any bike-to-vehicle contact or other bike-to-bike -bike contact. If we come up here and look at this strap, this strap is securing our front wheel to the frame of our bike and preventing it from turning too much and making contact with our vehicle or with other bikes. Now that we've gone over some of those features, we can go ahead and remove the bike. And this is how we're going to do that. We have a black tab on either side of the zip strip. We're simply going to pinch those in, pull the zip strip off. We'll do that on both sides and our anti-rattle cradle. And now we are ready to remove the bike. I would like you to notice that I have the other anti-rattle cradle folded up right now because that's going to help me unload and not have to pivot around it. When you're done, just be sure to replace your zip strips so you can keep track of them because it is a pain to have to keep buying new zip strips. Now that we have the bike off, I'd like to make a few measurements. Now from the rear of the vehicle to the outermost point of our bike rack, we're adding on about 24 inches to the rear of our vehicle. And something neat about this bike rack that can solve that problem in case you don't want to remove the bike rack but you still want to travel, we can fold these arms down. Now they do move independently from each other, so you got to do one at a time. See this blue knob right here? We're simply going to twist it up fold our bike rack down and then lock it back into place. We'll do the same over here. Lock that into place so now our arms are locked. And so now if we do another measurement from the rear of our bumper to the outermost part, we're only adding on four and a half inches of space. Now like I said, you want to keep this in mind for any type of closed parking you might have around town or maybe parking in your garage or just basic storage. If we come up here, we see that our bike rack is connected at four different points of contact. We have these two straps that go inside our trunk. So we open our trunk up and we set the straps down in there and then after we shut the trunk, we just pull up and the hooks latch on under and it secures it to the rack or to the, tr to the trunk. If we look at these metal brackets that are holding our straps tight, they are covered in a rubber, in a rubber frame so that it prevents it from making any contact or damaging the trunk of our vehicle. We have it on both sides. And if we go to the rear, we have these rubber coated straps on the left and on the right. And that's going to help, the rubber coating is going to protect it from any type of scratches or abrasions. And we also have the rubber shell for the, our metal frame, for our metal clamps. And if we come and look up here again, we'll see these two foam pads that we have that is protecting the bike rack and the car from, from damaging each other. And the last thing I want to show you guys is this little knob right here. So what this is for is that makes, that allows you to set this bar into four different settings, making it compatible with many other vehicles and many other styles. So we simply just turn this to set the frame to set the bar of the of the bike rack into place and so it matches with your vehicle. Just be sure to check 
the, the fit guide on either each other.com or Yakima's website to check for that. And that's going to do it for our test fit of the Yakima full back two bike rack on our 2014 Volkswagen Passat. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.